Hello guys, today let's talk about Faker in Laravel. Faker is a library to, well, fake the data, usually used in factories. And here are the fake examples, the Faker examples in user factory, which is shipped with default Laravel. And by the way, that fake thing introduced a helper in Laravel 9.18. Before that, it was this Faker, which actually still works, but a shorter way to do that is fake. But I've seen people using only like general five or 10 features like fake text, fake name, fake email, but Faker has some more interesting faking things under the hood and I will demonstrate you those in this video. So I've prepared those within the same user factory and let's see what are they one by one. I will close the sidebar. So did you know that you can fake the Boolean with chance of getting true or false? It's a percentage, so instead of doing random one and two, you can just do 50% chance or 33% chance or whatever. Then another thing is, instead of just name, did you know that you can have first name and not only first name, but also first name male or first name female? Then also, instead of doing fake text, you can do fake five words and they may be returned as array or as text, true or false then you can also generate a sentence or a paragraph instead of just text of 50 characters. Then there's also text and real text because text and those ones above generate the Latin words, usually meaningless, and real text is about a real English text or text depending on your language and locale. We'll get to that in a minute. Then with dates, you can generate not only timestamp or date time between this and that range, but specifically you can generate date time this century, this decade, this month, or this year. Sorry, I've made a typo, this year and this month. And this is much more readable for any developer who would read that in the future. And finally, the fun feature, you can generate emoji. Let's take a look at what is the result of those. If we open PHP Artisan Tinker in that project and do user factory make, which would make the object and not create that in the database, this is the result. So in addition to the default name, email and stuff like that, we have is active true, 50% chance I remind you, then first name Rodrigo, then words, Latin words, so five words or a sentence or a paragraph or just 50 characters of text. But if you want real text instead of Latin words, know it to be true, that's the queerest thing. And then the dates of this century, which is weirdly wrong, I'm not sure why to be honest. And also I see this decade is wrong, it should be 2022, 2021 or 2020. Okay, I need to dig deeper to find out why, but then this year and this month, those are correct. So I guess you should not trust those above. And then emoji is just a regular emoji. And finally, in this video, I told you we will get into languages stuff. So real text is in English by default because in config app of Laravel project, we have faker locale by default in US, but you can change that globally for the whole project. For example, let's make it Spanish. Yes, yes, from what I remember. And if we restart the tinker and regenerate the object, let's see if the text is in Spanish and it is in Spanish. And not only here, also the first name should be in Spanish. Well, the name before that, Rodrigo, sounded like Spanish anyway, but it enforces a different set of names for Spanish. And you can set it not only globally, but also locally when calling the fake helper. So for example, fake first name mail, here you can provide ES, ES, for example, and globally, let's get it back to English. And let's see what was the name generated for Spanish name. Let's see, David. Well, David is pretty international name, don't you think? Let's try with the real text instead. So fake Spanish text and we make the user and yes, the Spanish real text is here. So these were just random methods of faker that I found online and in the documentation. So I will link the official documentation of that in the description below. You can take a look at more formatters and their parameters and find something else for yourself. If you want more tips about Laravel and PHP on this channel, subscribe to the channel. I keep shooting daily videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.